Hello humans! Today I'm going to teach you about modules and how to install them using pip. Starting off, what are modules? Modules are someone else's code that they've allowed us to use. Now, modules do a wide variety of things, it just depends on the specific module. Tkinter, for example, allows us to create graphical interfaces for our Python programs. This module comes with your Python installation by default, however, most modules don't. XLSX Writer is a module that allows us to create Microsoft Excel files through Python code alone. This module doesn't come with your Python installation, so we have to download it. In order to download modules, we have to use pip. Pip is Python's package installer. It allows us to easily download and install any packages that are within the Python package index, which is simply a big collection of Python modules that are easily downloadable. I'm going to show you how to use pip to download the module XLSX Writer. I'll be doing this on Windows 10, so if you're using Mac or Linux and you're struggling, leave a comment below and I or someone else should be able to help you out. The method I'm going to show you isn't the fastest method, but it should work for everyone. In the future, you can speed up your pip installations by adding pip to your environment variables, but we're going to keep things simple for now. To start, open your file explorer or bash session to wherever you installed Python. On Windows 10, the default path for installing Python is in your user profile slash app data slash local slash programs slash Python. If you see multiple folders here, select which version of Python you want to install the module to. For example, if you install a module on Python 3.5, you will not be able to import it when using Python 3.6. If you can't find app data in your user file, make sure you have hidden folders displayed. To do so, click File in your File Explorer, then hit Change Folder and Search Options, View, and Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. So once you're in the right folder, click the Scripts folder. Now I'm going to copy the path out of my File Explorer. I'll then hit my Windows key and type command prompt and hit enter. Now I need to navigate to the folder we were just in. I'll say cd, which stands for change directory, and I'll follow this with a double quote and the path I copied earlier. I'll end my quote and hit enter. Now that we're in the proper folder, we are ready to use pip. I'll say pip install, followed by the module I want to install, xlsx writer. If you already have it installed, it will say the requirement is already satisfied. Otherwise, your download will begin. Once it's done, we can close command prompt. Let's finish this out by creating an Excel file using the module we just downloaded. The first thing I want to do is import the module I just installed. I do so by saying import XLSX writer. I'm going to gloss over a lot of the details of this module as I've already done a tutorial on it. For now, let's just focus on using any module. I'm going to create Excel file, and that is equal to xlsxwriter.workbook, and I'll call this myexcelfile.xlsx. Workbook is a class that is defined in the xlsxwriter module. Anytime we want to use something out of our module, we say xlsxwriter dot, followed by the class or function or whatever we want from it. To finish out this example, I'm going to create an Excel sheet within that workbook and close my workbook. Now when I run this, I can see that I created my Excel file.xlsx. I have no idea about the inner workings of Excel, but because someone created XLSX Writer, I can easily create an Excel file in just a few lines of code. Today we learned how to install modules with pip. A big thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Comment below with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.